All right, you guys, so I'm back with chapter four to the story. Chapter four. That night after dinner, I fell asleep. I could feel my body starting to get chills. My heart started beating fast as I went into a dream. In the dream, I was outside the temple. I looked everywhere and recognized the details of the dream. I stopped when I saw myself. I saw a younger version of myself. That's me, I said as I stared at my younger self. The dream suddenly changed, and I was inside the temple. The inside looked destroyed, and many dead, faceless bodies were scattered through the floor. My younger self was hugging one of them. It was a tall figure. She cried as she hugged the lifeless black shadow. She suddenly put the shadow down and started crying in pain. But no sound could be heard. I could only see the horror on her face. What is it? Tell me, what's wrong? I yelled at the top of my lungs, trying to get her attention. But in the dream, I was only a ghost, watching the, event the events unfold. She couldn't hear me. As I stared at the scene, a shadow gave my younger self a small box, as it had done in my other dream. Five years, the shadow said. I woke up gasping for air. I tried to sleep, but I couldn't no matter what I did. Five hours later, Keiko woke up for school. I pretended to be asleep. Mitsuki, get up. Get ready so we can go. Get ready so we can go, Keiko said, assuming I was still asleep. I sat up slowly and groaned as if I was sick. Hey, are you all right? Keiko asked. I'm a little sick, I said. Did you want to stay home? She asked. That sounds like a good idea, I replied. All right, I'll bring you a cake later like I promised, she told me. Don't worry, I ate some yesterday, I said. Then get some rest and I'll check on you when I get back from school, she told me. As Keiko left for school, I decided to lay there in the bed until I was alone in the house and everyone was gone. When I was sure that everyone was gone and no one was here, I sat on the floor and tried to think about my dream. My dreams tried to tell me something. I can't remember though, I said to myself as I started to think it was hopeless. I decided to go outside and walk around town. How can I remember it? That dream, why can't I remember? I yelled as I walked. <clears throat> I stopped thinking and decided to focus on my walk. But as I looked back, I saw that I was outside the city. Note, it would take around 40 minutes to get outside the city, but somehow Mitsuki managed to get outside the city in 5 minutes. Huh? I guessed as I saw the city behind me. Somehow I'd walked fast enough to make it out of the city in only 5 minutes. I guess I was a little lost in thought, but how could I have walked that fast? Let's go back, I said, to, I said talking to myself. I ran as fast as I could back to the house and got there an hour later. Five years, I heard a voice say in my head as it echoed. Five years, I repeated the word, I repeated the words. What could it mean, I asked myself. As I closed my eyes and repeated the words, I saw a picture from my dream. I saw the small box that the shadow had given me. That was the dream. That's it, I said as I ran back home. I ran up to Keiko's room, and in the closet, I put out a small square of the carpet. Under the carpet was a hole in the ground. As I reached into the hole, I pulled out a plastic bag inside the bag was the clothes that I'd kept the same clothes from the day that I lost my memories. I took out the dress that I wore that day and reached into the pocket inside. I felt an object and pulled it out quickly. It was the same white box from my dreams. It was exactly as the one in the dream. End of chapter four. So thanks for reading, guys. 
I know it gets a little confusing sometimes, and I do stutter a lot. And I definitely mess up a lot of the lines, but hopefully this did a little better. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. And again, feel free to comment and tell me if this has got too many stutters, if I should redo it, everything like that. Anyways, see us.